I think the best way is first to explain, then we will meditate on them, sort of uh, I guide through. First uh, is Nepa. Nepa means uh, something like uh, stable or stability. Uh, this is the result of Shine. And uh, when you do short Shine practice, uh, which we will do it today by following 21 uh, breathing uh, practice, then uh, we reach uh, a stable, calm state of mind, of course, temporarily. <coughs> now, uh, uh, in this uh, 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 particular uh, practice, uh, you uh, observe the uh, stability and you maintain the stability. Uh, which is not interrupted by any other thought except my mind is calm and stable and calm abiding, so maintaining that stability. Uh, so we try to maintain that state. Then second stage is, it is inevitable that thoughts will arise because uh, we cannot uh, maintain a stability without other thoughts arising. It is uh, impossible unless we fall asleep. <clears throat> so, uh, so, uh, so when thoughts arise, then uh, the second stage of uh, the meditation. So Nepa is the first, Jua is the second. Now, the second stage is when thought arises, then the uh, best way, if possible, is to just be aware of that thought and leave it right there without any further development of the thought. So it will dissolve back into the first stage, the stable state. So the another thought will arise and then let it dissolve into the first state. So it is like clouds form from the blue sky and clouds disappear into the blue sky. So that is the best way. Uh, but most of the time that will not happen. So when that does not happen, then we have another uh, kind of three-stage practice there, three-stage principle there to deal with the rising thoughts and make best use of the rising thought. Now that is known as Chung Ne Do Sum. Chung means where does it come from. Ne means where it is. And Do means where does it go. So the second stage, when your thought just does not dissolve, then, then it persists, then you somehow simply, uh, 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 without uh, too much effort, uh, but with awareness, use this. And this is what we call Chegom. Chegom. Jogom is just uh, uh, let it come, let it go. But Chegom is now where does it come from? So when you have thought that persists, so you uh, uh, somehow gently uh, uh, ask this question where does this thought come from? It's like looking at the ocean and see very big waves come from the ocean and, and, and ask question, where does it come from? It doesn't come from anywhere, from the ocean itself, right? The thought arises from the mind itself. Dualistic mind, of course. But essence of the dualistic mind is non-dualistic. 
That's primordial wisdom. <clears throat> so where does it come from? Then where it is. That's like where the wave is. It is right there in the midst of your dualistic mind. It's not anywhere. And if you really look, it doesn't come from anywhere. It is not anywhere, but it is there. <clears throat> so the third is where does it go? When one thought come and change into another thought, or another thought come, then where does the first one go? It didn't go anywhere. It is like wave arise from the ocean, dissolve back to the ocean, another wave arise from the ocean, dissolve back to the ocean. That's what it is. So thought and mind are not two separate things. But thought is the manifestation of dualistic uh, perception. The dualistic perception is the byproduct of the self, the I. You cannot avoid having others when you have I. When you cannot avoid having object when you have subject. So, so that is like the pillar and the shadow of the pillar. So, so it is the light of the sun and the shadow of the light. It is byproduct. So this way then thoughts arise, thoughts dissolve, and by the method of Chung Nen Do, this three stage, then, then this discipline helps us to take it further when thought persists. But if thought arises and dissolves, you don't have to bother about Chung Nen Do. You know, it only we do when our thought does not disappear by itself. Now, the third, that is awareness. Uh, the uh, basic awareness is uh, maintaining awareness of the Nepa, maintaining awareness of the Njua, during the Njua, maintaining awareness of the Chungwa, Nepa, Ndrowa, all of that is one aspect of awareness. Another level beyond that is that Nepa, Njua, and within the Njua, the Chungwa, Nepa, Ndrowa, all of them are really not different things. It just various aspect of the same thing. There's no difference between stable mind or wandering mind in essence. But the first aspect recognizing and maintaining stable mind and recognizing when the mind wanders. But later realizing that there is no difference between these two in essence. So that is the second stage of this, Rigpa. Uh, then uh, the sort of final stage for this, uh, Rigpa, is uh, the essence of Rigpa is the primordial wisdom itself. So, who recognizes being stable? And what is being stable in the first stage? And who is aware of rising thoughts? And what is rising? And within that, then where does it come from? Where it is and where 
does it go? All of this is recognized or being aware by the essence which is not affected at all by stable mind or rising thought or wandering thought or any of these things. It is just like the pure space which is right here. <laughs>